Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So I'm just giving my personal opinion here, but I think that SEO supersedes AI copywriting, meaning that if you haven't come up with the right keyword, quote unquote, there is no magic copywriter that will be able to rectify that. And the opposite is true. If your keyword has been filtered out and carefully chosen, you can get away with the dodgy copywriting, an old copywriter that will still give you some great results. Of course, you want both. You want keyword research and AI copywriting tools, both top-notch to get the best results, but still. And this time I will talk to you about one of the ways to do data science with keyword research. And I'll be using Ahrefs and you don't have to. Any source that gives you keywords with some metrics will suffice like Keywords Everywhere, like Keyword Chef, like SEMrush, and many, many other tools. So let's just head back to Ahrefs. And this is a niche that we've talked about uh, for a few videos now, which is the financial prediction niche. So if we type price prediction, and I need to start spelling correctly for my videos, go to matching terms, you see that there is a lot of sort of opportunities. So we want KD of five and less, and uh, let's just say we want a volume of 100 and above. Okay, show results. And we got some 476 keywords, which is a lot for a new website. So this is plenty already. Let's export. And now before we go to the code interpreter, I don't know why, but uh, this file here did not work for me. Uh, a ChatGPT said it was in the wrong formatting or whatever. So what I did, I went to tableconvert.com. And this is a free tool. I said the source was CSV. Then I went to table generator, chose CSV once again and downloaded the file. And it turned out to be in the right uh, formatting or whatever for the ChatGPT. So now what we have to do is to go to ChatGPT. We need to choose the cone interpreter, of course. Hit the plus sign. This is our file. And now we just need to wait till the file is uploaded. Then I usually ask something random like what is the data? This is just to make sure that the plugin is working correctly and the data is the data that we want to analyze. So it says the data appears to be related to search engine optimization and keyword analysis. And then it's uh, going to explain what different columns mean. So the hash sign seems to be a simple ranking or indexing column, keyword, country, difficulty, volume, CPC, CPS, parent keyword, last update, SERP features global volume traffic potential. Now, code interpreter is able to perform complex calculations. So we have 450 something keywords and say we have a fresh new website, brand new website, and we need to start with the first 20. So the prompt is going to be, and all of these prompts are going to be the ChatGPT library. Give me 20 keywords that have the lowest Difficulty, highest volume, highest CPC, and let's try something else. Uh, the SERP features. So you're able to see with uh, Ahrefs which keywords do not have featured snippets. So this is an opportunity. And do not have featured snippets. And I haven't tried this before with the feature snippets, so I'm actually curious to know what's going to happen. So it says finished working. Here are the top 20 keywords that meet your criteria. Keywords. So the dash to trade price prediction, difficult zero, volume 30, CPC zero. Okay, so no, this is not working. Hang on. Give me 20 keywords that have the lowest difficulty. Highest volume, okay. Let's leave that. And CPC starting from 0 0.1. Okay. Okay, so this is working now. So we are getting keywords that have extremely low difficulty, very high volume and CPC 
that is more than a zero. So basically all of these can be targeted if you are building up an AdSense driven or Ezoic driven blog. Okay, let's wait for it to finish. And this is a great starting point. Of course, me being me, I would still like to know which of these 20 I should target first. And you can go for 100, you can go for 50. And then it makes even more sense to prioritize your keywords. So say rank the above 20 keywords based on potential. Potential equals low KD, high CPC and volume. Present the data in a table format. Okay, let's see what happens now. Here are the top 20 keywords ranked by potential, where potential is calculated as and this is a formula. Nice. I see that this is not this is still not in a table format, but that's okay since we are getting the potential. We can then ask it to express as a table. Okay, let me start typing the commands, express the above data as a table. Beautiful. And look at this table. Isn't it nice? So you have the rank from 1 to 20, I would assume you have the potential by which the all of the keywords are scored. You have the difficulty, volume, and CPC. And I've been editing this prompt as I went live, so you would spend much less time on this than I did just by entering the correct prompt to begin with. So it will take you maybe a couple of minutes. Okay, beautiful. So now the last touch gave me a visual representation of the above. Okay. The bar chart above provides a visual representation. Oh, wow, and this even has a gradient color. Nice, so this is from being ranked from best to worst. But I mean, they are all great since they are all zero KD and high CPC and high volume. And you can do this with 100 keywords, with 50 keywords. And this is beautiful. So this is another, this is a keyword research on another level. Wow. <laughs> Actually excited. So hope this video was helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.